Hey Shining Stars, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our Kiss New York Pro unboxing. This is our monthly PR unboxing. So we'll be unboxing the products we got for October as well as trying them on, giving my first review and opinions. So if you guys wanna see any of that and more, then just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then what are you waiting for? Please subscribe down below. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. We talk about everything in the world of beauty, makeup, skincare, hair care, and everything in between. Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give a hell, paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me. A million dollars at the night scene. Before we get started, just to let you guys know, I try to be as transparent as possible on this channel. So all disclaimers will be mentioned in the description box below. If you guys are interested in product links, timestamps, as well as other ways to connect with me on other social media platforms, you can find all that in the description box as well down below. Also do note these are gifted PR boxes meaning these are not subscription boxes or anything like that. So you can't just buy a box online. So we look a little bit more crazier than usual, guys. That is because I don't have my concealer, contour, blush, brows done. I usually do have most of my base done already. But in our October box, we did get a few products that I do wanna try out and use, of course. We got some brow, eye, and concealer products. So we're gonna be testing those out today. And then of course, doing a makeup tutorial, not with a Kiss New York Pro palette, but a different palette for a fall makeup style tutorial slash look. So the first product we're gonna be using is this right here. And this is the Pro Touch Full Cover Concealer. It actually says it's the number one consumer's choice concealer. So it's supposed to be a really good concealer. And I have seen a lot of people use this and like it. And it looks really good. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. I got the shade 310 Sun Beige. They don't have a huge range of shades. So do keep that in mind. But I honestly love Kiss Pro New York. And they have very affordable and good products. So this is the concealer and the wand. I do like that it's a fat kind of tipped wand so you're able to dot it on if you want um i like to swipe mine on it's all up to you we're basically just going to put it in the places that we want to brighten and conceal i think i should have went a little lighter in color but that's fine I'm gonna take the Merit Beauty, the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick, and I'm gonna use this in the shade Sepia to contour out the rest of my face. Popping. I also did just forget to add some right here and here. And now we are done. Now we're just going to go ahead and blend everything out. I'm going to use my foundation brush that I originally used. If you guys are interested, this is the El Maquillage 100 Foundation Blending Brush. You don't have to use a high-end one. This is just something that I'm, I like to use personally. So we're gonna start from light to dark. So we're gonna blend out our Kiss Pro New York concealer first. And so far I do like how it's blending. It blends really nicely into the skin, even for this shade. I thought the shade was gonna be a little like red or dark, but it's actually looking really good right now. So let's just keep blending. I'm gonna leave the concealer on my nose area and start blending out the contour everywhere but on my nose. You guys are gonna see how I do that in a second. But so far, I am enjoying this concealer. It's looking really nice on my skin. Again, the color isn't too uh, harsh or off, even for the color I chose. Like I said, they don't have a huge range, so that's the only thing.
Now all we have left is the nose. Everything is looking really even and smooth. So let's go ahead and do it. And how I like to do the nose for me, you don't, you guys don't have to do it this way. This is just a personal preference. Is I start with the darker shade and blend that out. You can use a smaller brush as well. It does help, but I prefer using my foundation brush. And like I said, you basically just start with the darker shade blend it in i like to use kind of like the edge of the foundation brush and then from there i like to take the foundation brush and just pat the lighter concealer color in and there you go now off camera i'm gonna go ahead and set my face for that i'm gonna use the cody airspun loose face powder i am also gonna set my contour with the Ofer Cosmetics Face It Meaty Palette in the shade Medium. For the contour shade, we're gonna be using San Fran, which is this one right here. We're gonna use the Eye Method Beauty All Over Face Blush Color in Spicy Girl, which is a matte rose nude. Like I said, I'm gonna do all that off camera and then we're gonna jump into the next product. All right, so my base is done and set. Now we're gonna get to the brows. For brows, I'm gonna go ahead and use the next two products we have in our box. That is the Natural Brow Stencil Set. We're gonna be using one, of course, not all of them. And the Fine Precision Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Deep Dark Brown. I originally wasn't gonna use this because I thought I had this shade already, but I don't. I have a lighter version. So I do wanna see how this one looks on my brows because I was saying the other version I thought would be too light. But the lighter shade I have is a perfect brow pencil to just shade in the front of the brow. So I wanna see how this works for the whole brow. And since we have a stencil kit, let's go ahead and test it out. This is the packaging up close. We have a spoolie end on one side and a pencil on the other. And these are the brow stencils. We have Shooting Star Classic Queen Confident and Heroine. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do Confident because I feel like that fits more with my brow shape and how I usually normally do my brows. So let's go ahead and open this up and try it out. So this is how they look. They feel kind of like silicone-y, which is nice because it'll just lay where you want it to. Like they're very flexible, but you probably do have to really hold this down. Um, I did brush my hairs into place already with a spoolie, but just to show you guys again. And do know I also tweeze and shape up my brows. So let's go ahead and take our right side. I'm gonna do the left side off camera because left side is always harder, but let's do our right side. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Oh gosh, this looks kind of like very thick, but let's try it. Like I kind of shape them, so that's a good thing. With just some concealer, which I'll probably use when they need me. All right, so let's see how it looks. I feel like it's gonna be super thick. And yes, it is. That is heck thick, like super thick. It did take off some of my makeup. I did set my face just with powder. Um, so just note that, but it didn't take off too much of the makeup. We're gonna go ahead and clean that up. Don't worry guys, cause that is way too thick for my brow personally. And I'm just gonna clean them up with the full cover concealer. I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand and then take a concealer brush and shape them how I want to. But this is, again, personally, how I like my brows. I wouldn't recommend the confident ones. Maybe I just have to try a different set, but I wouldn't recommend the confident ones for people with thinner brows or who like to pluck their brows. If I let my brows grow out, I have very thick brows, so this would be something that I would probably use if I ever did decide I wanted them thicker. I like how they look here. Uh, I think I will go ahead and try a different set another day and then maybe see how that goes. Like Queen looks like it could be a little thinner. Classic looks like it could be a little thinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side off camera the same way. I'm gonna clean it up so nothing looks different or off and then we'll get into our next product. Now for the pencil, I do wanna mention before we step into the next product and I finish off, I do like the shade of the pencil for my brows. This one is definitely one I could use for the whole brow itself, not just the little strokes in the front. So if you have very dark brows, like almost black brows like me, 
then deep dark brown is definitely something you want to keep in your collection. Okay guys, so this is how my brows are looking. I'm going to jump back into the concealer, the full cover concealer, and I'm going to use this and try it out as a base for my eyes. If you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel, I like personally using a good concealer on the eyes to make the eyeshadow pop and really stick. I don't use primers because I feel like I haven't found one that really worked that well for me. I do have slightly hooded eyes, so I find that certain concealers work better than primers. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I'm just gonna take a little bit directly on my eye and then we're gonna blend that out and jump into our eyeshadow look. And I did also forget to mention that this concealer lays beautifully underneath uh, powder products. I did use my Cody Airspun powder and I don't really see too much going on. I do see a tiny bit of creasing, but I get that with most of my concealer products, whether that be cream or just regular like dry down concealer. So I think that's just me and my eyes. It could be application too, but that's just me and my eyes. I personally think because I've tried tons of different products and they all do the same thing. So there we go. Now I am going to jump into the palette that, I'm, that you guys see me here using. This is the Natasha Denoa Zendo eyeshadow palette. So the first shade I'm gonna take is Balance and we're gonna use that as our transition shade, but we're gonna work it pretty close to the brow bone. Thank you. Now the next shade we're gonna take is Vigor, which is this very red shade. And we're gonna use that right in the transition again, but we're not gonna bring it all the way up to the brow bone. We're just gonna use that to add a little bit of color and just smoothen everything out for our next shade. Next, we're gonna take the shade Tranquil, which is the shimmery pink, and we're gonna use that from the inner lid right up to the center. And then to finish off, we're gonna go into the shade Luster, which is this very pretty gold, and use that to pretty much go almost all the way out to the outer V, but we're gonna stop right where we put that red and brown color. Now we're gonna go back into Balance and Vigor. We're gonna mix those two up a little bit and just help deepen out the outer V right here. And now I'm gonna jump back into the Tranquil, that pink shade, and help blend out the gold that we just laid down, the Luster shade. Now on a smaller fluffy brush, I'm pretty much gonna take the same two shades, Vigor and Balance, which was the first two transition shades we used, and we're gonna use that to smoke out the bottom lash line. So this is how the look is coming together. I am gonna curl my lashes off camera as well as add lashes and mascara, but before we do that, we're gonna get into our last eye product from Kiss New York. This is the Intense Gel Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner, it's so pigmented and it's really creamy and easy to use. I use stuff like this for my waterline and this is in the shade black. I actually do have two other shades. I believe it's in brown and the black brown and I love all of them. And then this is the actual packaging. It does have a sharpener on one end. So in case you wanna use it as a winged liner and then you have your pencil side on the other. And this is supposed to be a 24 hour gel liner with no smudge, creamy and seamless application and water resistant and easy removing. So 
so that's how the one side looks so i'm gonna finish off camera i am also gonna curl my lashes off camera and just so you guys know everything else pretty much for the eyes we're gonna do off camera we're gonna be using the i method beauty winged stamp liner i am not using the wing side i'm just gonna use the liner and then i'm gonna go ahead and use the alicia lives beauty lashes and style angelic now this is my cousin's brand and she is relaunching so her brand is no longer alicia lives beauty lashes i believe it's emperor of El I believe it's Emperor of Elegance. You can find her on Instagram. I'll have that linked in the description box below if you guys are interested. She hasn't launched officially yet, but she will be soon. So stay tuned. And then for glue, we're going to use the INV by Kiss Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive and Clean. And then for mascara, we're going to be using the Double Decker Lashes from Butter London. So this is how we're looking with the eyes done. I did also set my face off camera i used the shades by shan setting spray and again just got to give it up for the concealer because it worked beautifully with the concealer i actually felt like the setting spray helped the concealer like really look smooth and flawless it already did look really smooth but it just i feel like it made it look a little better now we're pretty much getting into our final lip product but before we do that I do want to add some highlighter. So for highlighter, I'm jumping back into my Ofer Cosmetics uh, Meaty Face It palette. And we're going to go into that shade Rodeo Drive, which is this middle one right here. I'm also going to take a smaller brush and go into that highlight shade and just add a little bit right on the inner corners to really make the eyes open since it's more of a smoky look. Next, I'm just prepping my lip, taking a wipey and removing the foundation and concealer we had left on there. So off camera, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter back to my Cupid's bow since we did remove a lot of the makeup that was on it. And then we're gonna take this, which is the Ruby Kisses Ultra Easy Lip Liner in shade brown. And we're gonna use this to line the lips and then we'll get into our next product. So the lip is done. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into our next product product and just so you guys know i did take that liner and smudge it out so i made it very dark on the outside outlined the lips and then brung it slightly in and blotted like that so the color could be softer in the middle and make it look like it has a little bit of depth to the lip now we're gonna go in with these one of these babies these are the new tinted lip oils they do have lip oils already but these two shades are new these are the Cocoa Butter Natural Oil Lip Gloss and the Vitamin E Natural Oil Lip Gloss. They're both pink shades. They don't really show up too much, so they're more like of an oil gloss, uh, but hybrid product. I feel like lip oils have been really going in this year, uh, but these are perfect for the winter. Lip oils are always like really super hydrating. They keep the lips moist. And my lips are actually a little chap right now, so this is exactly what I need. I think I want to go in with the cocoa butter one and see how that is. The vitamin E one smells a little bit fruity, and the cocoa butter one smells kind of like chocolate. I love how they smell. But this is how the wand looks, the applicator. I don't want to wipe off the liner we just put on, so I'm doing it very gently. And there we go. As you guys can see, it does add a little bit of shine, which is really nice. Um, it's a good product if you just want to go bare, like you don't want to have any makeup on. This is a good product just for we that. We do have the last two products to show you guys, but I won't be swatching these because I did swatch these for real on Instagram already. So if you guys do want to check that out, then check it out over on Instagram at Midnight Moon Makeup. Also, if you want to see the full product details for my makeup, I will have that on Instagram as well. When this video goes out, I will also have a post going out the same day on Insta. So make sure you follow me at Midnight Moon Makeup. But for the last two products in our October box, we got the Quick Dry Nail Polishes. I absolutely love the packaging on these. I always have. And we got the colors That's My Jam, which is this purple kind of reddish color. And Wilderness, which is this very pretty like almost forest green color. Yeah. 
I can't wait to share my November box. But again, this is the final look for this video. We're getting into the holiday season, so holiday glam looks are here. Also, it's my birthday month. We're in December. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be 26 this year, 26. We got a bunch of PR coming in. So definitely stay tuned for more looks and beauty videos. If you guys are not subscribed and a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then please subscribe down below, join the family, hit the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. If you did enjoy this video and this look, give me a like, comment below, and let me know what were your favorite products or if you just liked the look. Share this video with friends and family. And with that being said, you guys keep on being the beautifully awesome shining stars you are. And I will see you back here in my next video. Later, guys.